Hi there, and welcome to Bliederud. My name is Rita. My husband and I have just started this uh, YouTube channel where we will um, tell about what happens on our little farm in Sweden. Um, right now I'm sitting in the Orangery, uh, which we have just almost completed building. In this video I thought I'd tell you about how we built the Orangery. Uh, I have a lot of uh, film clips from it, so it might be that I have to separate it into two parts. So this will then be the first part. We started by building a concrete slab. We had some friends help us um, with the concrete slab to pour the concrete, so that took about a day and then we had finished it off. Uh We started building the Orangery about two years ago when, uh, well, Norway, Sweden and the entire world more or less closed down due to Corona. And we have been working on it on and off for the past couple of years. The reason for this being that we actually don't live at the farm permanently. All My husband works two weeks in Norway and then he's here for three weeks before another two weeks at work. While I commute back and forth every week and have the holidays here. So that's the main reason things take time to build. On top of the concrete wall that is about 60 centimeters high, we have uh, built a wooden structure that has a um, roof that slopes down to one side so that the snow can fall off. Since we built the orangery with the windows that we have uh, received from a modern apartment block, it kind of gave the, the style or the design for the orangery. And we wanted to keep the windows the way they are because they are double glazed and that means they insulate very well. The windows are 110 centimeters wide and 120 centimeters uh, high. Uh, and we have stacked two windows on top of each other. So with um, the concrete wall that is about 60 centimeters and um, two windows on top of each other, that means we have more than three meters height at the front of the building, maybe even as much as three and a half meters. At the back we chose to have just one rack of windows. Uh, Frank is really creative when it comes to finding solutions to different problems. And that came in handy when uh, uh, we were installing the windows. The windows uh, were quite heavy and I could help him carry them and slot them into the position on the lower levels but when it came to raising them up into the second uh, level that was uh, a challenge but he created some system with a pulley and uh, rope and managed to just pull the windows up and slot them into position so that is the way we solve that problem without having a lift or anything available. Thank you.
I must admit that Frank has done most of the work on the orangery, although I have been his assistant and uh, helped him as much as I can. And of course, once we started on the interior with uh, the tiles and the painting and so on, I have uh, been more able to, to uh, participate as well. Frank put the roof on when he was here alone, so that is why we don't have that many uh, images of uh, the roof going up. Also, he has panelled the outside of the building, uh, more or less when he's been here alone. He is the most experienced builder of us, though none of us are <laughs> experts. We, we don't have any certificate in building any of us, and this is kind of the first major structure that we have uh, put up all from the ground. In the autumn of 2020, we started on the inside. We insulated uh, the spaces where there weren't any windows and we panelled the inside. Frank uh, uh, put up the panelling boards. Uh, we bought some pre-painted panelling boards um, to make it easier for us. And um, we have afterwards painted it one more layer of white.
dogs in the muck they have. Yeah. Det blir bra till slut. I hope you have enjoyed to see what we have done so far and in another video I will tell more about how we finished uh, building this orangery. Please subscribe to our channel and leave some comments. We will be really delighted to hear from people out there. We're very fresh at doing this and I'm afraid I'm not that good at filming and talking to the camera is kind of awkward also. So. I need practice, I have to say. <laughs> um, but anyway, hope you want, want to uh, watch our videos again and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.